So Back for Blood finally released some information on the two new cleaners that are going to be out in the Tunnels of Terror expansion that comes out on April 12th. It's for Charisse and Hang, and we get some details as to what they're going to be good at. So Charisse came out uh, probably a week ago, and we learned a little bit about how she's going to have armor, she's going to have trauma resistance, bolstered health, a fire axe, and she's also going to have armor plates that spawn while she's in the game. But the new news is today for Hang. And what we want to discuss today is some of the things I think Charisse might be good at, some of the things I think Hang might be good at, and then maybe some things that I think they might need a little bit of help with. So, Hang's the new guy today, and what we learned about Hang is that he can sense and ping nearby attachments, prepper stash doors, and hive entrances. Nothing about that sounds appetizing to me, frankly, because you just tend to know where these things are anyway as you play the game. I mean, I guess we don't really know about hive entrances yet, but if they're anything like the tool doors, you just kind of learn where they start to spawn over time anyway, which completely negates all the value out of all of that, in my opinion. I don't know. And we never really had problem finding attachments anyway. So I'm hoping that whatever ends up happening with this part of Hang, it gets a little bit more spicy. Maybe Hang can make more attachments spawn or make it so the hives are always going to spawn or more likely to spawn. Because I'm pretty sure hive entrances are the new dungeons that they keep talking about. There's going to be those seven different dungeons, aka the tunnels. And if you dive into those, I'm assuming that's where we get that legendary loot, right? I'm pretty sure that's what the press release said. So if Hang could make it so hive entrances spawn more often, that could be a really cool perk to Hang here. But on surface level, this doesn't look too cool. And then the party doesn't stop there. So when hit by a mutation, there's a chance that an item will fall out of Hang's pockets. This sounds funny, but it also has a problem with it where getting hit by a mutation really sucks. And it usually deals a lot of damage, if not a lot of trauma damage. So if anything, I'd hope that you'd guarantee that you could get something to drop out of Hang if he takes a big hit. Now, something that might be interesting is Charisse is spawning with armor, right? Or that's going to be one of her things is she can shoot armor off of things and armor will spawn while she's in the game. And we don't really know how armor works yet, but it is possible that let's say, let's say armor is a thing that reduces the amount of damage you take either over time or like, let's say this durability or maybe from a big hit or maybe from tiny hits, something like that. If the armor helps hang, take a hit, but not take damage, then I think that could be a really good synergy between the two. And who knows what items could spawn out, but presumably it would be anything, right? I don't know. I, On surface level, this doesn't sound like a good thing, but I, one other thing I'm trying to keep in mind is there's going to be a bunch of other cards that spawn in the game as well, right, with this new expansion. And they say like 12 or 15 cards or something like that. So those new cards also could have something going on with them that we don't know yet that could make both of these characters a lot more interesting and also the other eight characters that are in the game. So there's too many things changing all at once for me to go ahead and say this is absolutely bad and this is absolutely good. But on the surface, the top two things on Hang don't really seem too appetizing to me personally. But who knows, maybe things will change over time. And then finally, we get the team effect, which is a 5% team accessory reuse chance. By the way, try saying that five times real fast. I just did. It didn't work very well. <laughs> Anywho, 5% could be... I don't know. When I see 5%, it doesn't sound like a lot, especially for it to be on the character. But that could be any item in the game, presumably, right? I mean, it could be your med kits. It could be pain pills. It could be, I don't know, something else that usually doesn't get a reuse, like a defib or something like that. There's a bunch of different items in the game that I don't have any reuse chance attached to them, which suddenly could start getting reuses out of them due to hang. Now, 5% doesn't feel like a lot. <laughs> I mean, I guess one way to think of it is, let's say you have 20 first aid kits which is, I don't know, 6,000 copper. That's a lot of them. In theory, Hang is going to help you save on one of those. So 5% doesn't seem too cool to me. Again, I don't know everything that's going to be happening, but 5% seems a little low. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get a 10% out of Hang here. I think 10% would be really cool. Maybe that's too cool. 5% feels a little low, though. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I, I, feel, like, I feel bad. I'm just kind of pooping on Hang here, but... His, uh, his, the stuff I'm seeing here, it feels a little, how do I say it? I, I, I would rather pick someone else is the vibe I'm getting out of what I'm reading here. Maybe it'll be different when we find out about the full game, but just off of this little image they gave us here, it feels a little shallow. And then for the melee weapon, I guess he has a melee weapon. For his secondary weapon, he has a melee weapon, which is a hatchet. Which makes sense because every single piece of artwork that I've seen for these characters, they seem to be carrying their secondary weapon. 
So hatchet makes sense because Hang's carrying a hatchet. I mean, I guess you can't see it here, but in full artwork of Hang, you'll see he's carrying a hatchet. And now let's move on to, over to Charisse here because Charisse had information released about her oh, a week and a half ago, maybe. And <laughs> Charisse sounds really awesome in contrast. So armor pieces shot off or ridden have a chance to become armor plates. Now, how many different things can be armored in this game? You can have the tall boys, you can have the stingers, you can have the reekers. They all can have armor on them, right? So if you shoot armor off of that, then potentially that's going to turn into an armor piece or heck, the breaker or the ogre. I don't think the hag has armor, but there's so many different things that have armor. And who knows? There's also armored ridden. If the armor can spawn off of any of these things, then suddenly there's this huge defensive buff coming from Charisse. Now we don't, again, we don't know what armor's going to do. Armor, like I said, it could be protecting you from a certain amount of damage. It could be protecting you from really big damage. It could be protecting you from small damage from a bunch of common. We don't know what it's going to be, but either way, it seems like a thing that is going to be a big defensive buff for the whole team. Reason why I say for the whole team is it says consumable armor plates that grant a buff will spawn with Charisse in game. So if they spawn, that would mean that anybody can pick them up, right? So <laughs> everything I'm hearing here is that not only is Charisse going to bring in a whole new mechanic into the game, it's going to benefit the whole team a whole heck of a lot. Now, onto the other thing Charisse is bringing to the table. This team effect of 25% bolstered health. That's also a new thing. I talked about bolstered health in a recent video, but basically what it is, is more temporary health. I made a little image here to try to help make it easier to understand, but it's pretty straightforward. So let's say you have 100 HP. Each one of these is 25, by the way. This is 25 block, 25 block, 25 block, 25 block. So four blocks is 100 HP. So the way it works now is you can have up to 100 HP, right? Now let's say you lost 25 HP, right? Let's say something happened and you uh, took a big hit and blah! You lost 25 health. Well, if you heal with pills that heal for 40, but you've only lost 25 health, you're only going to go up to 100, right? Because that's just how the game works right now. You can't go beyond your max health. Temporary health can go beyond your trauma, but if you have a max health of 100, that's all you're ever going to get. But what bolstered health does is it gives you more capacity for temporary health specifically. Again, I have it in the last video we just did. One of the devs explained how it works, and, and that's what I ended up taking from it, is that it's a extra ability for more temporary health, okay? So everything I'm hearing about Charisse sounds awesome. I think Charisse is gonna come out swinging, I guess, literally, with her fire axe. Hang though, I'm a little nervous about him. Not gonna lie. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, we don't know what their main weapon's gonna be. There's a bunch of weapons left in the game still. It could, they, there's a bunch of SMGs. There might even be some ARs. The, I don't think the LMGs have even been taken yet. There's still a couple of snipers. So there's a bunch of different things that could be happening. Things that I would like to see out of Hang is one of the things we talk about is that he can get, see nearby attachments. I, if Hang could pop an attachment out of him when he gets hit, that could be cool too. Or maybe he can make it so a, there's another attachment crate that spawns when he's in the game. Or just, just something to make this first thing more relevant for people who understand where things spawn if you know where things spawn this loses all of its value and that sucks and then speaking of hang's pockets i'm kind of surprised that hang doesn't have a pockets buff he has all these pockets why can he not have another pocket <laughs> isn't that a little weird i mean i guess mom's got pockets and hoffman's got pockets and carly's got pockets but considering this guy has pockets all over his body i'm kind of kind of surprised he doesn't have an extra pocket <laughs> i mean that could be something to make hang really interesting too is he just has an extra pocket on every single slot but that might be a little too strong i don't know anywho you guys let me know what you think of these two new characters here let me know what you think of me making a video like this where we're just talking about in theory how things are going to be because really on april 12th we're going to know everything but in the meantime, we're just having fun theorizing and guessing and talking about the game. We do stream just about every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. If you want to talk more about these two characters, talk to me about the game. Link will be in the description and also the top comment. And if you've enjoyed these videos and gotten any help out of all the guides we posted, please consider subscribing down below. And if you want to support the channel just a little bit more, please consider becoming a member of the YouTube channel. It's a way to directly support me and make it so I can keep doing what I do here for a living. So thank you guys. You guys are the best. And I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.